Well, hello gamers, this is Mertwari from Let's Talk Gaming, and today we are back playing some Conan Exiles on the Conan Devolved modded PvP server. And yeah, things have happened. A lot of things has, have happened. We've been preparing for PvP, which is happening uh, as we speak. Well, the PvP is turned on. I'm not quite sure if anyone is on, but uh, we will be heading out and doing some stuff. Maybe grab a few thralls, we will see what we can do. But we will have to keep an eye out since... Uh, yeah, PvP is on, and enemies might surprise us, so let's see what we can do for today. So this is the caldera where uh, I started to lay down the first stones. There you can see the back entrance with a little uh, tower, a little wall I have made. In, in the front I have made the uh, big wall of the south, as I call it. I will be showing that later on. We used to have everything down there on that platform, you see, down there. Uh, we used to have all our production up there. And yeah, it was nice. It was very nice. But while Jester started to build up, and it's really amazing. Uh, I logged on today. I couldn't log on yesterday due to mod missed matches. So I, I uh, had to miss all the fun yesterday. But today I logged back on and everything was gone. And she made a big stair and brought everything up here. So all our production stuff is now up here on the mountain. Difficult to get to. Pretty safe, I think. It's actually very safe. It's close to the, the green wall of death. But it's not easy to access it. And I think it's also nearly impossible to uh, to hit with trebuchets. There is still a little thing coming up here. This is just a little uh, vantage point, a little viewpoint. So that's that's actually Krojak's uh, house. Krojak lives up there. Uh, there is a little house a little bit further up, which is from Aiki, I think uh, the name is. And there are a few more people in the area, but not, not close to us for now. So yeah, this is what has happened. Lots of stuff has happened. I quite like the new position, actually. I have to say, at first I was uh, a little bit skeptic that uh, it would take too much time to bring everything up here. But since we are now pretty much, uh, how do you call that, self-sustaining with most of the things, it's okay. It's okay. The, the stuff we still need to bring up is the stuff that is a little bit difficult to get. And that might be an issue. So... I'm gonna take you through this stuff. Uh, yeah, the people that know me, they will, <laughs> they will see that I might have issues with all this. It's a lot of doors, a lot of stairs, and a lot of turns. Uh, I would have preferred if if this was just one one big stretch of of doors. You see the big the big uh, stair heading up. Uh, actually, <gasps> don't tell me. Sandstone. Okay, sandstone, which is good. Sandstone. That means if they try to uh, put up some uh, some bombs here to get in, they will destroy the sandstone stuff. And yeah, it will be impossible to get back up top. We will have to place more foundations around, I think. Otherwise, people will be able to uh, build inside the caldera as well. Yeah, there are some arches up there. Maybe I should make a balcony. I'm not sure. So this is the back entrance. Uh... I closed this up, made a little a little wall section with well plenty of walls and doors to get through. Let me show you. Oh yeah, here I am. This is the backside, also sandstone stairs, which we can remove when we log out, which are difficult to, to break through. Good evening, B Wolf, welcome. So it's difficult to break through. Uh, as I was mentioning, that's the whole idea actually. Let me go back in. I used uh, a similar design to what I have been using on our Patreon server where I have built a little uh, a little stronghold city thingy. So this is pretty big. Same thing here, put some arches up. And on the second level up here, even put some more arches up. Yeah, this is also another mod, a mod which allows us to place our uh, our uh, thralls a little bit closer to one another. Now, there is a bug in game. I don't know what's happening, and I hope uh, these archers will actually take out their bow if something approaches, because if you look closely, they are archers tier 3, but they are all hand, uh, they all have like a spare head in their hands. Not sure what I can do with that from up here. Not quite sure. Now, you see those uh, foundations in the walls there? Uh, that's Krojak. Krojak has a hidden base down there in the rocks. Actually, I wanted to uh, make that a little location to build some uh, hidden uh, storage. 
but uh, Kojak was faster than me. I was too busy closing off, off the whole thing. And by the time I went back to place foundations up there, yeah, Kojak was already in there. So he placed foundations and that way, let me show you that way, uh, we are unable to close off this whole thing. So his base is somewhere up here. You crouch beneath the rock and you will see it. See here, you crouch, there you get in. So that's Krojak's base in here. There is no way for us to get in. These are all pretty much walled up. And I'm kind of afraid to, to fall through the world actually, but he built inside the rock. It's pretty, pretty nice. If you watch his stream, go ahead, have a look. It's pretty nicely done. So he did put up some foundations up here uh, in order for us not to be able to close up this whole thing. Because that would have been a, a nice idea. It was an idea I had in mind, actually. Close up this uh, area here. But then Krojak is unable to get to his base. And he started putting up some, uh, some uh, foundations everywhere in order for us not to... Uh, be able to close that gap. Will you make a defense trebuchet? Yeah, I might be making uh, uh, trebuchets for defense. The only problem is with trebuchets, it's uh, it's it's not a, not an uh, how should I call it a weapon for defense. It's, it's a weapon for offense. I can put it up top, but the time it will require to to turn and bring it into pos position. Uh, yeah, it, that will take too long, especially if you have uh, people moving around. It just takes too long. This is another little gap in uh, in our defenses. Well, you need to get up top, of course, but I will have to fix that at some point. Let me show you the front, the front which I have baptized being the big wall, the Great Wall of the South. And uh, I've been getting uh, people telling me that uh, the whole thing is starting to look like, like Minas Tirith. <laughs> so the battle near the wall. So this is the wall I put up. You see, oh, I thought I had spotted something. You see, nice big wall. Uh, it will be nearly impossible to get over that and get in is tough as well. Same thing here, lots of doors. Well, in this case, only three doors because we are th still thinking of, of making it a little bit bigger than that. The base is honeycombed. Yeah, look. Well, Helm's Deep, yeah, Nib, Helm's Deep. You, you, I'm, I said it incorrectly, Helm's Deep, yeah. Uh, it is honeycombed, so the honeycombing is, is a, a thing which we used. Uh, I watched a video online, and actually, Klaas, who visits our stream for every now and then, my streams, he comes on uh, uh, quite often, he mentioned that I should try this. Put up a foundation, a fence foundation, put up a square of fence foundations, put in uh, pillars in between, and reinforce that with a cross of uh, foundations, fence foundations. And apparently, uh, if they place a bomb, it will destroy... Well, it will damage this for sure. The splash damage or the collateral damage might also damage these, but it will not damage the pillars apparently because that's not, well, it's not part of the same structure. It's a separate structure. I will have to test that out in single player, but some people have already done that and they said it works. So if they play place bombs, they will be able to destroy probably these foundations, but then they still have to, <laughs> to work their way through a few layers of pillars to go through. We were unable to place pillars everywhere, which means there are some gaps in here. And those are dangerous. Dangerous like hell. You can fall in there. You can fall in there. I've already had it happen a few times while I was building. And at that time, it's pretty easy. You just remove whatever you built. But now that we have the big wall of pain, uh, the big wall of pain, the the great wall of the south, it, it built, it, it's nearly impossible to, to, to work your way out. You would have to destroy half of the whole thing. So yeah, this is the building, put up arches up here and uh, I've heard from Kojak, he came by and to have another look at, at the wall while I was bu building it and he said, yeah, I, I didn't notice you had eight arches up there and I got hit by eight arrows at the same time. So defenses, defenses work, but you see these have, these have their bows <laughs> and yeah, the others have a, a poignard or whatever or a dagger. So I hope that that won't be an issue at all. Wheels or Wheel of Pains, we have them set up here close to the entrance. I don't think we have a lot of stuff still uh, getting their little broken. Yeah, this one is a strange one. We found that in the Troll City. Actually, uh, it's Tavos who found it and brought him back. Tutmekri, the dramatist, 
It's a dancer. Oh, we don't have any more... Of those? Ah, too bad, too bad. So, nothing in the Wheel of Pain? Nothing at all? The little gap I was mentioning earlier, it's this thing. Well, it's not really a gap. They have to work their way to, way to the top, but this is open. I'm thinking of building a similar uh, wall structure up here to close this off as well. Maybe have a door, a gate, I don't know. Uh, we will see. Let me check this. I would very much love to remove those, bring them somewhere else. That way our, uh, our uh, ore will respawn in here as well. At least I hope it will. Uh, yeah, so those are the changes. Those who have you view, seen my previous videos, they knew that uh, we had everything up here. But by now, we moved everything up the stairs to the top. This is also a nice little spot. Uh, there is like a, a little chamber behind the rock. And at first we thought, why not put some stuff up here and then put a big uh, vault up here to close out the gap. It works. And since we have the pickup plus mod, when we log on, we can pick up the, the vault again and continue with our work. Yeah, Blue Jaguar, I was watching the stream at that point because uh, uh, due to some mod mismatches, I could not log on to the server. I haven't been able to log on to the server uh, a few days. First of all, I had some family things to uh, take care of. And yesterday, I wanted to do some streaming while uh, there were some people online for PvP, but I couldn't get onto the server. So I started watching Grojack's base and what he did, it was incredible. I have to admit that his ID was superb. It's really, I didn't think about it, but what he actually did, I'm not quite sure if you will be able to see it. Uh, I think maybe he already destroyed everything. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, I know what happens. So uh, we had a mod in here, which allowed us to build, uh, what was it called? Landscape blocks. So you could build landscape stairs, landscape slopes, the rolls, landscape uh, uh, foundations. And the only thing you needed for that was uh, fiber. And not all that much fiber, actually. And you could not break those, not even with steel weapons. So that was a little bit overpowered. <laughs> and uh, I think the mod has been removed for now until it has been balanced a little bit. But what he did is he took a lot of fiber and he started building up with ramps and he built up to that, that rock up there. And the idea was to drop down in a, into our base and uh, yeah, gain access to our base like that. Luckily, uh, we have some foundations up there on the top as well, which prevented him from building any closer. So he could not get in at all but uh I'm, I'm i'm quite happy he didn't know about this gap yet this gap here because if he did he might have started to build out from up there although i, I don't think it's possible no it's too far it's too far we're safe we are safe I hope there is no ton of wastewater skip there. Well, I hope I hope there isn't. I really do hope there isn't. It's I discovered this place actually in single player when I was uh, no, not in single player, on our server when I was running around and it's it's actually a little bit if you look at the map, it's off the map. It's somewhere up here and I have the impression that this little region has been added on later. I'm not quite sure, but that's the impression I have. I I'm pretty sure I have walked through the whole map and never seen it. And I thought, yeah, two entrances should be pretty easy to close up. We have some room to build stuff. There is a lot of stone in the area. There used to be plenty of stone in here as well. But since we built in here, we don't have the stone. We had some uh, iron as well, the rocks here. And there were some more iron rocks. Let me show you where you had some more iron rocks. There were some more iron rocks here close to the back exit. Here. Uh, yeah, of course, I have to work through this as well. This is also honeycombed, as you can see. Great tip from class. We did it. I hope it will work. There were rocks up there with, with iron as well and plenty of other rocks with stone in here. So we had that. Fiber we had as well in our base. We have a lot of fiber actually in the base. Uh, there were plenty of plants up here. You see? So that's no problem. What else did we have? The only things we had to go out for was coal and wood. And wood can be uh, found just outside of base. So that wasn't a really, a really a big issue. So it's a nice spot. It was easy to defend. And that's why I chose it, actually. 
let me get up top here so we have a little view on the base. Yeah, that's what we did. We put foundations. Well, yesterday uh, on no Friday, I started putting up foundations in in all corners of this caldera, but from the outside, and that way, people are not able to build up here. Oh, I hate this. Yeah, the people who play with me on on Conan and on Ark, they know that uh, this is something I hate. I hate this very much. Not only is it a very icky. Well, staircase, it, it has a lot of turns and additionally for me there is no security. There is no security and you all know me. Sometimes I jump and I do silly things and I, <laughs> and I drop down. I already fell down a few times and that can actually get you killed. I kind of wish I could build up there. I think I was able to place a stair up here, yes. Yep, like this. And this gives you a good view on the caldera. So this is where I started building, where we had our, uh, our base a few days ago. This is actually the whole place we have. But as you can see, there is also some nice spots on top of the rocks, which we might be using actually. And by now, everything uh, production-wise has been moved to the spot up there, you see? All our production stuff has been moved up there. Uh, while Jester uh, has been doing that, I think she probably recorded some of it yesterday. She was uh, doing some stuff to Krojak's base as well. She was trying to raid him. Look, we have a big stack going up. And all our production and our valuable materials are now up there. Well, you see Jester running up there. So, if people break through, they only have reached part of our things. But I think, personally... Personally, I think we should put up some stuff in there. Some We, we should put up a big vault there or, or, I don't know, some boxes, something. We should put something down there uh, to give people that get in to somehow give them a reward. But because I think if you see this, it will be very hard to break through the uh, Great Wall of the South. It will be tough to break through this one. And once you have done so, you still haven't reached anything. You You would still have to work your way up and break through that, which will be nearly impossible, because if you start using uh, using the bombs, then the whole staircase will fall down. And uh, maybe if they destroy all the foundations we have everywhere, they will be able to start building once they have destroyed everything down there. But I don't know. I think maybe we should put some some incentive to raid us down there. After all, it's a PvP server. We want some PvP action. We do really want some. Uh, at least I do. I, I won't say I will be <laughs> I will be happy that 700th time I get killed, but I definitely would love to see some PvP action happening. Question is, can I not get back up there? I should be able to. Yes. So yeah, uh, and, and I think... Ooh, nice rock formation up there. Oh, that's not ours. That's Krojak's side. Oh, look, that would be nice too. Look, there is a gap in there. I think Krojak has a, an exit uh, on, at, on the top as well. He can get out through the top of his base. Yeah, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, PvP. PvP is now on until uh, tomorrow morning, 6, 6 o'clock for me, which is uh, midnight for our American friends. And yeah, we actually would very much love to do some, some PvP. Uh, and I think if we make it our base really unraidable, people might skip raiding us, and that's not really what we want. Yeah, more defenses, sure, more defenses, but still, uh, for the time being, there are no really big, huge guilds in here, or clans, guilds and clans are now three, four people max. Uh, there is uh, John Bain, who is already quite a bit ahead of us, uh, actually quite a bit ahead of every one of us. And uh, yeah, he has all the stuff needed to uh, make bombs and come to bomb our walls. But still, once he gets through, there is nothing here to catch. <laughs> you, still, you still have to work your way up and that might maybe discourage people. I don't know. Ideas and suggestions are more than welcome and 
Yeah. I don't know. We will see. Well, uh, that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, I think you had a nice view on our base. There are still... We still have some, uh, some smaller bases in other spots, but this is actually the main base. The base uh, we will be using most, I guess. And uh, by now you have a little idea of what we have done, how we have built it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. If you have comments, suggestions or ideas, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. Check the description as well. That's where, where you will find links to the people playing on the server, links to my social media pages, links to the Patreon page and lots of uh, other stuff as well. Feel free to also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.